like I was I was just about to go and do something else and I saw this on Twitter and I thought it was one of those like one of those like bullshit hoaxes, right? Where where Twitter's always Twitter is always killing somebody. Somebody is always dying on Twitter. And then I decided to go out and look to see if, like, this news was actually true. And it is, in fact, true. Comic Storian did pass away on Saturday. Uh, his wife, Natalie, confirmed it today. And for, I don't know if, for some of you, for 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 some of you who are just now recently getting into the whole social media YouTube thing, there are two individuals that I will always thank for just nerding out and deep diving on comic books on a daily, weekly, and a monthly fucking basis. One of them is uh, Comics Explained, run by uh, Rob. And then the other one was Comic Storian run by Ben. Ben started before Rob. Rob came along later. And I know Rob is fucking devastated, man. But I'm old enough that I remember when both of these channels first started. I remember when when Comic Storian only had like 7,000 subscribers. And I remember when uh, Comics Explained had just first started his channel and he had like less than 1,000. That's how long... I've been following both of these guys and it is it 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 always cuts me up. It always cuts me up exactly. Um and this one like a lot of people on social media are saying that this one hurts. This one definitely fucking hurts. I am I'm in my feelings over this one. Uh because these these two were people that were were mainstays in in the comic book community. Uh they are the ones that especially comic story and who first kicked open the door and and were able to take these obscure stories that people had probably never seen before or take these these super popular stories and and break them down in such a way that if you are somebody who doesn't read comic books you could sit down for 10 15 20 minutes and watch him go through like Tower of Babel or watch him go through Infinite Crisis. And they had he had such a way of telling the story that it would keep you engaged and it would keep you entertained. And as somebody who's around, he's in my age bracket, like I'm 34 going on 35, he was 40. That one cuts really, really deep. Somebody who's my age who lost his life in an accident. Um, condolences going out to his wife, his kids. Um, my thoughts are going out to, uh, Rob over at Comic Explain because him and Benny were, were best friends. They did a whole lot of stuff together and a whole lot of projects together. Uh, this one, this one definitely, this one definitely cuts deep. It, it really cuts deep to see somebody pass away that had a major impact on how you, on how you basically, uh, consumed media for like, five years from from when his channel first started until i would say maybe like 20 2020 maybe 2021 consistently logging on to see either his updates or comics explained updates and just being excited that both of these guys were doing a collab together or they were talking on two separate things so you can enjoy two different forms of media uh yeah no this one this one hurts uh this one hurts a lot uh Thoughts and prayers, man, going out to uh, his wife, his kids, um, his family, his friends, because I know he was a fantastic fucking dude. Um, the energy that he had was always fantastic, and his energy is definitely going to be missed. And it is saddening to see his, him lose his life over uh, over what, what they say was an unfortunate accident. But um, yeah, like if you're somebody who used to follow or you still follow comic story and then you follow comics explained and these guys had an impact in your life man and shout out uh head over to twitter um uh drop something thoughtful on the on the comic story and page where uh where this tweet is letting them know the effect that the channel had on you or just comment down below um but yeah this 
it's it's never it's 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 never a great feeling when you lose somebody that you you don't have a personal relationship with because you never met them in person but they had a a pre, uh, a presounding positive impact on your life and they brought you cheerful times during some of the times that you may be you you may be low or you just needed a distraction from what was going on in your day to day life, it still hurts a lot to lose somebody who has that type of presence. But um, yeah, yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't know how people who lose uh, loved ones like this in tragic accidents, I don't know how they how they adjust or how how they move on. All you can do is really um, give them that love and support. And remind them just how amazing and 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 fantastic and impactful uh, this person that they lost just was, and and cheer the life that that person lived, while at the same time mourning the the life that he was yet to live. <laughs>